Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, as always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste. Love and blessings, love and light. Many blessings are definitely coming your way. If you've been watching my videos for a while and have not and you're feeling comfortable too, please go ahead and drop a line. I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And I'm hoping that you can be able to vibe with this video. And if you feel like um, you would love to share this with other people to see if they can vibe just on the same frequency or even higher, it would truly be appreciated. So I hope you're able to resonate with the content of this video. And the video I'm doing um, right now is called Twin Flame 101. Hey, Oka is walking the path of anchor uh, of an anchor and a conduit. Pros and cons. Uh, all within is... Um, is becoming massively heightened it is true you know we're all going through uh intense uh spiritual cleansing where you're able to you know when you get past the bars and, and the cast is you know the cast that we had around our heart from the unprogramming cutting ties with limited beliefs as well as uh toxic habits traits and patterns and ways and all those different things you tend to start seeing things on a totally different level you know a lot of times when we're looking through our emotions we see everything from a negative perspective but when we allow ourselves to center ourselves and ground ourselves we start seeing the advantage and the disadvantage of things that comes along our way that's really helping us educate ourselves on how to move forward through our you know our time of healing and it is no easy task to be able to do and it's like with a spiritual conduit, um, they also have another emotional um, conduit. And I was just like, dang, I never heard of that before. And then, you know, when I seen the meaning of it, I was just like, damn, here we go. You know, it's another thing that it, it makes so much sense on why we do it. An emotional conduit is, um, so I'm going to talk about spiritual conduit as well as a uh, emotional conduit. Um, I'm trying to see if they have any more of those. And, you know, when I do, when I find out about it, I'll always share that stuff with y'all as well in case, you know, this may be something that you're doing, uh, you know, on you know, unconsciously and not even realize it. Because a lot of us have gifts that, we've had, that we have had since we were young. And you could be doing it naturally. And this is something that you've never been aware of. Oh, that's a spiritual gift, you know. But emotional conduit is the, uh, the ones who connect um, that plays the role unconsciously. A uh, classic example of a person that is in the family that feels everything and other members of the family uh, uh, vibrations and sees things um, that they choose to deny or suppress. You know, a lot of times people tell us, oh, you're too sensitive. You know, um, are you crazy? You know, where are you getting these thoughts from? Why are you speaking that way? You know, all different things like that. But we are able to feel things in an emotional level. We start recognizing things um, that are within our patterns. You know, you go through a lot of dis discomfort in your life from some kind of trauma. Uh, or abuse you know you know the long lines of it I gotta be very selective about what I say <laughs> but I don't want to be flagged but you know the different um, abuses that you have uh, taken place in your life and you start seeing the reason why people act the way they do why do they respond the way they do why do they choose to see things um, in, in a narrower pattern then you know when we we do that you know it's not something that we were like hey you know let me be a conduit <laughs> you know but you know it, it just don't happen we take on that role and that was something that we have uh, been designed to be uh, placed in that purpose of that. You know, and I tell people all the time, there's always one person, in the, you know, in the family or more one in the family that has chosen to go through the most extreme. But also being able to use that as a conversion to, you know, transforming something else into something bigger. You know, a lot of times we feel like after you have gone through so much tremendous loss, or heavy tra uh, traumatic uh, sequences is how can something positive come out of that and it's all about the choices you choose to make how you choose to see things you know there's going to be times where you're going to see everything it is everything is out to get you and then there'll be times that you'll see these things that even though it was out to get you it because there was something about you that they didn't want you to discover about yourself and those are the things that we're learning through that that we were chosen for this to be able to show family that you can you know convert yourself over into something positive instead of allowing yourself to be stuck in that that trait of projection of fear um suppressing your 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 you know your wounds and instead of projecting them towards other people 
and there were different times where you'll see that pattern that we have taken a role in is doing the same as they have you know this is what we were programmed to do these are the things that we learn these are the things that we fear these are the things that we try to avoid or ignore as, as well as suppress but these are the things that's really taking us to that next level when you're starting to see you know I had to part my ways with my family you know um, it, it can be very hard to part away from your family but a lot of times you know family will feel like especially if it's very damaging and very toxic they feel like oh with family they have no choice but to sit here and take those those L's of whatever you know you're, you're that toxic doormat that they just want to wipe everything on you but then it's just like you have to get to that point where you have to choose you know just because you didn't choose your family don't mean that you can't choose out of your family you know if there's something that you you learn you know because a lot of people stay in situations like that because they feel that family you you go through it all and you have to stay there and deal with it all it's not like that you can deal with it from a distance you know by working on yourself you know it's different when you're a youngster but when you're at that age where you can broaden off and be by yourself best bet is to do it you know especially if you you have different conversations where you you tell them hey I don't you, you know every time we have a conversation it's always something negative or toxic or you want to choose to do whatever you want to do to bring me down to lift you up and if that has to be a repetitive conversation, they heard you the first time. And if you have to say it the second time, the second time is when you need to disconnect. You have to be able to honor yourself. You know, universe places us in these situations to where you see where your self-worth is, your self-love. You know, your boundaries, are they solid? Are you allowing yourself to be flexible and allowing different things to come into contact with you that is not nurturing? So with the, you end up being a conduit. You, you're learning so much about yourself, so much about the world. Um, about what you know us as individuals we choose to you know is a lot more easier to point fingers at somebody than allowing ourselves to really you know take ownership of what 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 we allowed ourselves to continue to let happening you know and I'm not saying that you know when you're forced into a situation where you're going through constant abuse and you're really trying to find your way out you know that that's that way of people controlling people you know, they, they try to manipulate somebody's timeline by doing things to have their, you know, to empower themselves. But then when you're allowing yourself to see the key, this is what I have to do. I have to take my power back. I'm allowing myself to see the things that these people helped me see within myself that they didn't want me to discover and all this and so forth and so forth. And for that to happen, you're showing where that truth can also, uh, to, God dog, my light. It looks like my aura got light bright as hell when I did that. But anyways, let me see if I do it again. Okay. And then dude, all of a sudden my whole face got, I don't know if y'all seen that, but it's like my face got really bright for a minute. But, um, you know, walking through those pathways is not an easy job to do. There are certain things we, we just do. And not even recognizing that we're doing that. We took ownership of that and being able to understand it. But then it's just at that point where you can be able to allow yourself when you walk into a room. You can really get to that point of separating uh, and acknowledging, oh, this is my feeling, but this is another person's feeling. And you have to be able to separate the two. You know, and you're allowing yourself to speak up on different things but you know it's just the point you can't force you know uh knowledge and healing down somebody's throat they have to be able to want to digest that themselves you can't do that um but a regular conduit a spiritual conduit oh jesus um <laughs> i remember i talked about this a long long time ago i think it was probably about two two three years ago i talked about being a conduit and didn't even realize that's what i was doing um there's a lot of times people come into your life when they had death of a loved one they're going through a tremendous break of uh, probably a marriage or, or just regular relationship. They, they're on the verge of being homeless or, you know, they have lost a job um, or they have gone through something very tremendous is where a spiritual conduit is that person that holds their hand through all those different things. And a lot of times the, the, the pros is that you can really help a lot of people while helping yourself on seeing where the healing needs to take place at, where the acknowledgement uh, can start at and being able to flow from those different things and a lot of times we connect on those where you know with us even in emotional as well as spiritual we bring up a lot of things in people that they do not want to have, hold accountable for themselves and it's just like with me and my role that I've been playing for a long time but it really hit deep when I first started you know on YouTube 
um, how my help with other people as well as they're helping me is like a student teacher thing. You know, we're helping each other on recognizing different things within ourselves that need to be changed, what needs to be focused on, what needs to be released, what needs to cut ties. Everything is showing gratitude towards everything as we're releasing those burdens. And for that, um, they're the cons, uh, the pros, I mean, the cons are, I'll say the pros, the pros is what you're helping other people. That's what I meant to say. And the cons is when there's a lot of time that backlash will come back on you. You know, it, it, I've been in situations where I've helped a lot of people was genuine, you know, never put no harm on them, never made them feel any type of way, but just the ego or as well as uh, unwanted feelings that popped up. They lashed it out on me. I've had people put death threats on me, put black magic on me, did everything they possibly could, even though I've helped them through everything. They they felt their way is repaying me, is trying to block me from every blessing that I worked so hard to deserve. And, you know, still to this day, it was really hard for me to accept at times, but it's just like when you're a conduit, you, you know, you have your pros, but you also have your cons. But the, the thing is with people not understanding what conduits are, you know, you don't realize when you place something on them like that where it has nothing to do with them. It's all about your personal advantage to yourself or what you're placing on that person when they were just trying to help. When, when people put bad on you and they wish bad on you or they try to manipulate your timeline so, you know, good things don't come into your life. They don't realize the first thing that starts going on, their health starts deteriorating very fast. I've seen different people that have done things to me and next you know they found themselves in a hospital almost close to the deathbed where they have died. I didn't put nothing on them, but it was just the fact is that that's what the reverse, you know, consequences happen. It, it can really put, you know, it really can put you on your butt, on your felt, uh, fate, uh, health um, in, in your frequency. They can start losing money. They start going broke real quick. Other ones other family members start popping up dead in their life it's just the more you keep place, placing on that conduit the more harm and hurt comes back to you so it's like pointing one finger to do something 20 of them come right back so you have to be you know really careful about those different things it's just all about the laws of karma but when you're messing around with a conduit like that it kind of you know when it comes back it comes back 20 times fold million times fold you know i've had people that i've helped and you know they start getting all you know, all up in their feelings or getting their ass on their shoulders, as my mom used to say. And they say, you know, they're like, Rosalind, I just got out of the hospital with bronchitis and almost killed me. Oh, yeah, I, I already knew that was going to happen. But I already told you, I'm like, hey, if I help you, I don't have no problem with helping you. But once you start getting towards that ego or you find out about my, my life or whatever and it is triggering to you and you wish harm on me, uh, it's like I'm gonna go ahead and step out the way, but I'm gonna let you know the deities and the masses handle that. I ain't about to do all that, you know. And I've I've had different things like that happen, and it took me a long time not to be angry with people like that. I used to get so mad because it made me not want to help people after those different things happened. But then I had to be at that point where I'm not going to allow myself to block my blessings on helping somebody just because a handful of people wanted to wish bad on me. And I've never gave them any reason to do that. But, you know, that comparison and, oh, this is their journey. That should be my journey. You know, God picked that. You get mad at the wrong person, you get mad at God about that. I mean, it ain't got nothing to do with me. But it's just the fact is, you know, when you're doing stuff like that, they think they're directing that pain onto you. And they don't realize you're directing that pain on God. And that's not the one that you want to play with. But... You know, all these different things will come up. You'll notice that people are right coming at you right when you, you bump into people and they, you know, they got all this stuff going on. I've had that. You know, there's some people that are still in my life and they appreciate everything that I've done. And like I said, I love y'all to death. You know, it, it's a good feeling when you know that people know your story. People know your purpose on there. And they never pass judgment on you. They never act funny towards you. I've had people that's been in my life for a while and then all of a sudden, you know, after after a minute, then all of a sudden their true colors start coming out and then they try to sabotage me in any kind of way, per, you know, possible, whether it was in privacy of their own home or they've done it here, you know, and I, I still forgive them, too. It, it just a lot of times they see something within you that you is kind of hard for you to see within yourself. But also a lot of times when people do that, they see something in you that they don't see within themselves and they actually have it. But it just takes that time. You know what we're going through on healing is is no easy task 
you know, a lot of times it's so much easier to blame another person than taking ownership of what is taking place in your life or being accepting of what has gone into your life, you know, um, and this is where the part of growing is, you know, I'll, I'll tell you all the time, I'm very transparent about that. There's days that I get mad. There'll be days I want to retaliate against it, any and everyone that is placed, this, you know, put me in position I am right now. But then also when I allowed myself to get out my feelings, I had to look at those people and say, thank you. You helped me find so much about myself. I didn't know that I needed to acknowledge. I found strength in myself and determination in myself. This showed me I had something good within me. If I didn't, you wouldn't be so threatened about by the things that I'm doing, you know. And it's just... It was at a point where I had to say, you know, hey, take notes, you know, and it's not being funny about that. It's, it's truly not. But it, it's just the fact is there's people out there that's like that. You know, they're so focused on your life. They can use that same energy to focus on theirs and they'll become a better person. But after that, you know, everybody tends to deal with things and learn from the hard way when you when you trying to intercept on somebody else's purpose. But, you know, you find out so many different things about yourself. We, we tend to hold people's hands and nurture them the best way we know how. But also the, the things is this really heavy with them. They'll start noticing their patterns of ego that comes towards the surface. And a lot of times it's like, you know, hey, you can't, you know, don't shoot the messenger. I'm just helping you with this. I'm helping myself. There's a lot of times I have to come to terms with things. It's hard for me to digest. But then it's just like, touche, I needed to know that if I want to grow and there's things I want better in my life, you have to be able to acknowledge the part that is not that pretty. You know, it's hard for you to digest. It's hard for you to come in contact with because it brings unwanted feelings of what we don't want to acknowledge and you know and it's, it's just like that at times but being a conduit it's just the fact is I love what I do but there's days I don't like it as well <laughs> you know because of the drama I have to deal with with other people that had nothing to do with me you know but it's just like hey it comes with the territory everything is not as white as rain when you're dealing with different stuff when it comes to our spiritual purpose you know it has that and the anchor you know um is a person that connects with the other side you know that's not easy to do a lot you know I've told people there's a lot of times especially with my line of work I, I see a lot of different things that comes in transition of uh, when people are getting ready to pass there's a lot of times I can see the tragedy hit before it happens and a lot of times I don't see the faces you know until after the mat you know after fact and then you know, with you being an anchor, they have to go through you. Because I always used to, you know, when I used to get really close to people, and there'll be times like when I know there's a big transition getting ready to take place, and I know it's going to hit the world in a different place, I have to be able to step back because I already know I'm about to feel it when it comes through. And a lot of times when I go through that, I, you know, um, I tend to have like a stigmata type adverse reaction towards it. It's like, however, that person passed away, I will start feeling it too. And it'll take me like 24 to 48 hours, maybe 72 hours for me to just recover from that. And then after that, I constantly hear that person. They come communicate with me. And it's just like they're basically, I, I was that, that gatekeeper to be able to help them, you know, with us being shamans. It's like a soul collector. And it's like the soul collector is not demonic. You know, because people be like, girl, you collecting soul, you snatching souls. No, it's, it's something that you're a gatekeeper for. And that's why a lot of times you can see the dead, you can hear the dead. A lot of times you can, you know, you'll start picking up on their habits. Like there will be certain people that I know um, and all of a sudden when they come towards that surface of me, I'll start having different mannerisms that come along. And I, I don't even notice when I do it at times. <laughs> but it was just like, dad, you know, where, where did that come from? And like, oh, it came from that person, such and such and such. But, um... It, it can be it can be very heavy at times because it's just like with us being sensitive, we feel different things on a, on a totally different level, and I just don't like it. But it's just the pros about it. When people have trust issues, then they come to me, and it'll be different um, different things. They were like, "How can I trust her?" You know, it, it, there's a lot of people that burnt me. There's a lot of people that did this. A lot of people that did that. And then for that, the death of their loved ones that sent them towards my way, they'll allow me to know something. There is no way of me knowing. And they tell me, I'm like, hey, mention this to them. You know, what if this happens? You know, or it will be certain things that they used to do. There's no way of me knowing. And it, it's a good thing when they're showing, okay, this person can, you know, you can trust them. 
-hmm. I've had different people say, you know, Rosalind, I went to psychics, I went to mediums, you know, I paid people to find out about my family. I wanted to know answers. I never got anything. And I tell people, you have to understand, spirit can see a lot through, a lot more through other people than we can at times, you know. And if they know if they're profiting off your pain, or they're using uh, their gifts uh, in, in manipulating ways. You know, that's already going to be a, a, a strike against you already as it is. If you're using that to manipulate somebody. You know, losing someone it is very detrimental towards anybody. You know, everybody grieves different. But there is times that spirit will not come to them. You know, and I had to tell them that you have to understand that spirits don't come to everybody. Regardless on who it is. Like Cleo and all the other folks that, you know, they choose to do. But... You know, if that person knows that this is going to be a person that can really help them through, really, you know, show them the ropes towards their life, really impact them in a beautiful way, that person will allow you to know this is a person that you can trust. And there's a lot of times that energy, their energy will come to me and it can get very emotional, you know, because there's times they'll show me how they, how they, you know, crossed over. Or it will be different things I see what happened into their life. Or there's always also beautiful things that they show me that they, you know, allow themselves to cherish. And, it, you know, and I get there will be some time I'll get ready to come on the video and I have to really compose myself. Because it was a very emotional thing, but it was very beautiful for me to be able to know I can help somebody in that type of way. And it's just like right now when we're clearing, you know, all the different things that's taking place in our life everything's becoming heightened there's so much that is going on that you can get very extra sensitive about that you know so it's just like being a, a anchor it, I mean it can be very draining you know there'll be times I have to take like a whole day off and like look you know I can't do this like Bronson can you tell them this and this and that I said they hear you <laughs> they hear you it's just the fact is they're trying to communicate with you and the only time I, that was able to happen for it to come through they had to come past me to let me know hey let them know they can do this, they can do that, to be able to stay in connection with me. And it just allowed me to know I'm very blessed to be able to help people like that. But there will be some times that I will freak people out and they stop talking to me. <laughs> and and I'm just like, I got to respect that. Or a spirit will come to me, hey, can you talk to my, my son about this? Or hey, can you talk to my, my daughter? Or can you talk to my best friend about that? And they you know, I'll take them back. And they don't want to talk to me no more. I'm like, look, you see what happened. I, I can't force that. I did my part. You know, and I hope one day they probably, you know, come back and then we can talk about it. But, you know, I did what I had to do. And sometimes they're just not ready for that. So it, it's just like you're going through all these different things. So it's like the more you tend to purge, more you tend to allow yourself to overcome these things. It's going to magnify your gift. Or a lot of times, it'll, you know, with you healing, it will push that forward for you to be able to see the strength in yourself, for you to be having an easier uh, travel on healing because you know we go through all these mixed emotions there's a lot of different things that's coming up to the surface that was forgotten and not realizing that was suppressed um in that way so it's allowing you to help you move along towards that for you to get towards that bigger goal in your life to open doors to new opportunities so i hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video y'all i wasn't gonna do videos today but i said you know i'm gonna go ahead and do it but I, if i have not responded to your 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 um emails or your uh comments and stuff like that just give me a chance you know i was supposed to do this and then after you know i get everything done then i'll go ahead and um uh answer your comments as well so i hope everybody's having a blessed weekend you know all my contact information in the description box below as well as the link to my podcast um you know uh my contact information is basically for spiritual networking um, just to be able to further your purpose, give you an understanding, or if there's things that you you don't f feel freely to you know expose on here about whatever you're, you're you know you're dealing with or whatever. People always hit me up one on one, and you know I try to guide them and help them as conduit. <laughs> you know, basically help them the best way I can, just to give them a deeper understanding about their purpose to help them move along. Um, whatever we speak on is confidential, and you know I try my best to be able to help out you know, the best way I can. So, you know, hopefully I'll be able to do that, 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 you know, that solid for you. So I hope you have a blessed safe weekend. Please be responsible for everything you do. I'm hoping this will be out by today, but I, I don't know, no telling, you, you know, so I got a couple of other videos to do. Um, and, um, yeah, whatever you're manifesting, that's what I meant to say. Whatever you're manifesting into your life is going to come so much bigger and better than you ever imagined. And it's going to come sooner than you ever expected. You know, if you're going through some hard times right now and it just, it feels like God's quiet, he's up to something for you. 
So allow yourself to keep moving. You know, even if it's tiring, do it. If do it when you're tired. You know, this is really showing you determination in your life to really, you know, pull things through for you. So don't give up on yourself. Don't sleep on yourself either. Even through social distancing, make sure you give out love, light, positivity, words, five frequencies. You just never know. All those things can really take you a long way. And y'all see me on my next video. Much love. Peace.